What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we are back with another Marvel Snap video. And in this video, I wanted to go through some unreleased cars because I don't know if you're like me, but I'm always looking at them and I'm like planning ahead and I have some favorites. So I wanted to go through my top five and I would love some feedback from all of you as well. But before we jump into this, if you are new here, hi, my name is Chris, AKA Bootman. And if you love Marvel Snap as much as I do, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. I love making a ton of content around this game. I like making content about how to reach infinite, different decks, different builds, and like different strategies. And I also test out decks of other YouTubers. I do all sorts of stuff. So make sure you join this channel, all right? Because we also just started a brand new Discord server, which is linked down in the description below. We have a blast. I love nerding out about this game with all of you. So yeah, make sure you join. And I got some cool stuff planned and you wanna make sure you're part of the Discord community if you wanna be a part of it, all right? So, those of you who don't know, and I keep telling you guys, I keep telling you over and over, so if you're not here yet, we got an issue. But this is snap.fan, all right? Amazing website, tracks your stats, you install this app and stuff like that, but they do like, they have like articles, they uh, list all the variants, they have unreleased cards, which we're going through. But anyways, that's where this came from, okay? So they have a bunch of data mined cards, and just keep in mind, these aren't 100%, especially like the, the cost and the power. That could change in the future, all right? But you can go, you can check it out, and yeah, start planning ahead like I do, all right? So I wanted to go through my top five based on my play style, and I would love to hear from all of you which ones you're looking forward to, all right? So anyways, here is my number one card that I am excited for. And, and just so you know too, this card might actually be coming soon, okay? So this is Ghost, and I think she's coming soon because if you do one of these, I don't know if any of you knew this, but look, check it out. Look at that, right? So if you go through unowned cards, oh, my view's kind of messed up, but there you go, there you go. All right, looking good, looking familiar. All right, so Ghost, what does she do? your cards are always revealed last. So I think she's coming soon. And there's not many cards that I will like spend tokens on the second they come out, but this one I might save up for. So your cards are always revealed last. So a lot of a lot of these cards upcoming are for my Magentris deck. So I don't know if you've been playing the Magentris deck, but um, Enchantress and Shang-Chi are huge, huge in this deck, okay? And something that drives me nuts, and I, I know the arguments against it, but I hate when I'm leading the entire game, just wrecking people, just boom, shut down this lane over there. Bam, shut down this lane over there. Just constantly in the lead, but then I go first, okay? So then I know that they're about to beat me on the last turn and I have to retreat because I know what they're gonna play and I can't Shang-Chi it, I can't uh, Enchantress it or whatever, and that's a huge bummer. But with Ghost, that doesn't matter anymore. So Ghost is going into my deck ASAP. I will probably replace uh, like Black Widow, like those of you who have been following me for a little bit, uh, Black Widow spot was uh, originally Angela. Now I would probably replace Black Widow with this card right here, all right? Because yeah, it would be so beneficial to have, make sure that Shang-Chi goes last every single turn, okay? <laughs> so I would love that, I would love that so much. Now. Next up on the list is Gore, Gore the Mutilator. So if you saw Thor, Love and Thunder, that was Gore up in there. So Gore's ability is on reveal, destroy all six, car, uh, six cost cards wherever they are. This is great for the Magantris deck as well. And I don't think this is gonna be a zero, zero card, by the way, um, but this is great for Magantris because I don't have any six cost cards in my entire deck. So, this would be very beneficial to me, not too beneficial for anybody else. Like, unless they're running a null or something like that, or even a death, you know what I mean? This would be great. Now, I was watching Molt's video. Molt recently did a video like this on unreleased cards that he's looking forward to. And he brought up a good point with how this is worded. It says, wherever they are. So does that mean if they're in your hand? Does that mean if they're in your deck? Because typically, the cards will say at a location. So we don't know if this is gonna be updated or anything, but that would be wild if it destroyed just all six cost cards anywhere, especially if you're just running like different types of decks that don't use that. Like, you know, think about like a Silver Surfer deck even. 
uh, those don't typically run six costs. No, like usually your highest one is like Sarah or something. You know what I mean? So Gore would be pretty, pretty nasty. And I think it would help balance the playing field for people who don't put like those big banger six cost cards on the board. Next up, Lady Destro. This is an interesting card. So destroy the enemy card with the highest power at this location. So you combine this, you combine this with something like uh, Ghost as well, and you're doing work on a lane, right? So there are a lot of uh, heavy hitting decks, like think about uh, Jubilee decks, think about Lockjaw decks, when somebody just, you know, when you're playing against a Lockjaw deck and they just luck out and they pull in their Infinite or something like that, you can just sit there and wait for it. You know what I mean? And then you can play this on the very last turn of the game. There's a lot of cards coming out too that are gonna be really nasty with like a Mr. Negative deck. So this could be one of them because she's only four power, which kind of sucks, but this would be an excellent card for taking out really big ones. So like I said, like a lot of these are based on like the decks that I use and I don't throw down a ton of cards with a lot of power in like my main deck. So something like this, I'm always thinking like that would be awesome. Next up is Nebula. So those of you who've watched my recent video, I tested out whose was it Mogwai's bounce deck. All right. So it has, it, it like centers around, you know, like a beast, a falcon, and it has, uh, you know, bishop in there and collector. So Nebula is, if your opponent played a card this turn, uh, times two power and put this in your hand. So it's almost like Deadpool. And if this stays at a one cost card, like just like Devil, uh, uh, Deadpool that starts at a one one, how dope would that be in a bounce deck, right? Because right now I have like Rocket Raccoon in there and I miss, but like, cause I hate those uh, cards that are only like, it affects only if you uh, know where the person's playing. But with this, you toss in the bounce deck because I've done that with Rocket Raccoon. I've tossed him down. He didn't do anything. I'm like, swoop, take him back up with like a uh, beast or Falcon, then throw him back down, you know? So this is like similar to Deadpool. I think she would be very, very fun to play. The last on the list is Kang. All right. So think about this. Okay. Because Kang's ability is look at what your opponent did, then restart the turn without Kang. How dope would this be? If you just held on to this card until turn six, even though it's a five, even though it's a five, what if you held on uh, onto it in turn six? Because we haven't heard from Second Dinner yet. We haven't heard from Ben Brode. Are they going to nerf leader? We don't know. But you get Kang, you set this fool up on your turn six, right? You see when leader's coming? Like, uh, those of you who follow me, like when I'm talking about reaching infinite, something I talk about a lot is cube management. This would help you out too, right? Like this would help you see what they're about to play, uh, see if you could beat it, get the heck out of dodge, you know, if you can't. Because sometimes, you know, especially against leader, you know, you know leader's coming, but there's not much that you can do against it. You know what I mean? So I think this would be cool too, if this is a 5-0 as well. Like a lot of these, you think about them in uh, negative decks, you know? But I just wanted to go over like a few other cards I thought like looked pretty interesting. I've heard uh, some people in the Discord have talked about Blink. I don't know if I'm a fan. So when you move Blink, uh, each, each time uh, she gains plus one power, which is like kind of cool, but she's a three cost card, right? So you're only gonna be able to play her turn three, then you can only benefit four, five, and six. So are you only gonna get plus three power? If you put that in a moon deck, uh, in a move deck, what's that plus six power? So she's like a three seven, which is pretty good. But me personally, I'm not like a, a huge fan of moon decks, but there are some other cards in here like Ghost Spider, move the last card you played here, where there, there's cards coming out that are going to maybe make move decks more viable. I know there's a lot of people watching this right now who just absolutely love move decks. Well, let me tell you this. I'm somebody who loves playing against move decks. Like I probably have my highest win percentage against move decks because you know where they're moving and you could just stack the, uh, the opposite side. You can just focus on two lanes and it's a pretty easy game, right? Uh, Hit Monkey also looks pretty dope. Uh, he's game plus three power for each card you played this turn. That would also be really, really cool for like a bounce deck. Loki. 
Loki's on my list, but I'm trying to think of when he would be good, right? Because you swap hands with your opponent. And I'm somebody who hates the locations where you swap hands or pull from someone else's deck. So I'm like, when would I want to use it? I know when it happens to me, it'll be very frustrating, but I don't know if I would use it. And Mephisto, all right? I think that'll be an interesting one. If you win this game, double your winnings. So you can only play it turn six, right? So this is another one where I'm like, would this be better than a negative deck, you know? And you can just toss it down, have a zero six. You know what I mean? Um, because I'm trying to think of a scenario where it's turn six and I'm like, you know what? I'm so far ahead and I'm so confident in this. I'm gonna drop Mephisto. Like, I don't really see that happening. You know what I mean? So it'll be interesting when he comes out. But yeah, there's a whole nother page of this. I might do a follow-up, so I'm not gonna go through all these dang cards, but there were some other ones that piqued my interest I just wanna to touch on real quick. So I will link this down below in case you're not over at snap.fan yet, but let me know which ones that you're interested uh, interested in that you're excited for. I'm most excited for Ghost. And like I said, it does look like Ghost will be coming pretty soon. All right. So I really, really hope that because people are always like, oh, you don't know if they're actually going to come out and stuff. But it's like the fact that we got the silhouette here, pretty confident. And you can go through here and see a bunch of other ones. All right. But anyways, anyways, that's all I got for this video. Let me know down in the comments below which cards you're excited for, which ones you're going to be saving those tokens for. You know what I mean? But yeah, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, join our wonderful community, help me get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. That would be superb. And everybody, if you're not yet, head down to the description below, join the Discord server. We have a blast in there. All right. But that's all I got for this video. Uh, so yeah, have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.